When we use TypeScript, we can use classes, inheritance, interfaces, and other object-oriented forms. In JavaScript, classes were introduced in ECMAScript 2015 or ES6, and JavaScript classes are templates for JavaScript objects. But when it comes to interfaces, we can't use an interface in JavaScript. Interfaces are a concept only available in TypeScript. In this video, we're gonna take a look at interface, classes, and implementing an interface into a class. So what are interfaces and why do we use them? You can think of an interface just like a type. It's basically a type without implementation and what it does, it helps us stay within the margins of our code, meaning that if we don't please the interface, we would get a compile time error. Now let's look at an example and see how we would use such an interface in our code. Let's create a function that will print some user details and for now let's just hold off on the interface implementation. So the function print user details will return a username of a person and his age. Now if we call this function with just an empty object, we would get undefined is undefined years old. How can we fix this so that we get an error during development time? Well that's where interfaces are helpful. Let's create an interface and see how we can implement that. For that we can create an interface of person and we can have a username and age as properties and both are of type string. Now let's add this to our print user details and immediately you can see that we now have a highlight of an error saying that type of an empty object is missing the following properties from the type person and those are username and age. Now thanks to the interface we know that we need to pass an object with some properties of username and age so let's add values to those properties and let's log this with a username of John and age 25. Now when we run this we will get John is 25 years old. We can also extend interfaces so let's create an interface of developer this will extend the person interface and we'll add a favorite language property and we'll replace the type annotation of person with developer here and now we also need to pass in a favorite language value so we're gonna say here uh, and his favorite language is user dot favorite language now when we run this we will get john is 25 years old and his favorite language is javascript so to finalize this down an interface is never an implementation it is only a helper for us developers to create code contracts whereas classes have properties methods and constructor and they usually execute some logic and classes is what we'll look at in the next section. As I said before, JavaScript supports classes as of ES2015, but with TypeScript we can use classes and compile them down even to ES3. Now a class usually has some properties, methods and a constructor. So let's take a look at how we can create and instantiate a class. We're gonna make a class of animal and it will have a property of group and this will cover the group of the animal that belongs to, for example, bird, mammals, reptiles, fish and so on and so forth and we'll have a property of type as a string and this will be the type of an animal for example a dog a cat chicken and so on now let's instantiate the class and let's pass reptile and a lizard as values and let's call animal dot print animal method now before I run this I want to show you what happens if we try to change the transpiled version of JavaScript down to ES5 if we take a peek into app.js you will see that there are no classes all that we have here are functions and and for the method, uh, JavaScript uses a prototype. Now let's go back and set the target to ES6, recompile and come back to this file again. And now you can see that we get something different. We pretty much have a class since classes are supported ES6 onwards, but one thing missing is the type annotations. Classes in TypeScript can be extended, but I want to show you something else and that's implementing an interface within a class. So let's say this class has to have a mandatory is dangerous property and the print danger method. And to help with this, we will create an interface called dangerous and this will have an is dangerous boolean property and print danger method that will return a string. So we do all of this to help us explicitly enforce that the animal class meets a particular contract. Now we can go ahead and implement the dangerous interface and for the is dangerous property I'm gonna use a modifier of public and with this we don't have to explicitly define the is dangerous property. Uh, instead, TypeScript behind the scenes will generate the property and it will initialize it for us. And now we just need to implement the method print danger. And here I'm just going to return the if the animal is dangerous or not. Next, we can just go ahead and add a boolean value to our class instance. And we can also lock the print danger method. Now when we compile this and run, we will get this animal is a lizard and belongs to the reptile group. And this animal is not dangerous. So implementing an interface to a class gives us the reassurance that all required members exist. And that is all for this one guys, hope you enjoyed, hope you found this interesting. Post your comments, questions and suggestions down below and I'll see you in the next one.